I'm not an architect, so I'm going to use a reference drawing that I've received and we'll turn a 2D drawing into 3D. So I've received a PDF and also a DWG file. And luckily my PDF is in vector format, so I can import that into Inkscape and save my plans as SVG. Let me show you how. When you try to open a PDF plan in Inkscape, it may take a few moments. Um, now I have this plan view of my demolition and my construction drawings. So I can select one of these. I'll copy it and I open a new instance of Inkscape. Then I hit Control V to paste what I copied. Once it's loaded, go to Edit, Resize Page to Selection, then File, Save As, and then in the location of your choosing, save this as ground floor demolition. So once you've finished this process for all the drawings you need, with a fresh session, I'll go to File, Import, SVG, Scale with Vector Graphics, I'll click on it. I locate my files, I'm gonna load in the ground floor demolition first, Import, now that it's imported, I'll hide my one by one meter plane and the false origin and then still in the outliner I'll click on the first object and slide this down and then hit shift and select the last object. Then I'll go to my viewport here and press S to scale this and I'll write 100. The reason I'm writing 100 is because that's what I read in my title block. It seems to work okay. I can check this with my one by one meter plane, Alt H to unhide everything. I'll take this plane, scale it by 12 to make it a 12 meter plane, then I'll move it with G on top of my circle and it's the same as my diameter, so it works fine. Now I'm gonna select again all these objects, I'll press on the first one, and the uh, last with shift, then I'm going to hit control J to join all these curves together. And I'll move this by 100 meters. Let's now import the other two remaining drawings and repeat the same process. Okay, now that I have these three objects, I'm going to press F2 and rename um, the last one I imported, which is the first floor construction. This is the ground floor construction. Construction. And the last one is our ground floor demolition. I'm now going to add an empty at a reference point which I can locate in all my three drawings and this middle column seems like the good one. Before going any further I'm going to only keep my vertex snap enabled then I'll hit shift and right mouse button click and constrain it to a corner of this column. Then shift A, empty, plane axes. Now I'll select my drawing, then the axis, and I'll press control P to parent my plan to this empty, and I'll press on keep transform. Now whenever I move my empty, the plan will move along with it. Let's repeat the same here. We're done. Now I can move my ground floor on top of the other one. So I'll first zoom there. And I know that my other empty is selected. So I can now just hit G and yeah. 
that's good then we have the demolition I'll just select the empty where is it there it is then go here zoom 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 too many lines and I can recognize it as that point G up and there we go now for the sake of not moving these we'll select the we'll select one press n item and slide your mouse whoop we'll do the same thing for the others whoop and that one whoop all right there's one last step we need which is placing it at the correct elevations and for that i need to look at an elevation drawing So according to the section drawing, I'm going to need four building stories. First, the street level, the ground floor, the first floor, and also the roof. I've imported these three, but I'm going to create all my levels right now. So, let's go back to Blender, and we'll click on Create Project on a metric system. So I my length I prefer if my lengths are kept in meters for costing purposes. So we'll create a project. And now I'll go to project setup, spatial manager, load spatial structure, and I'm gonna rename this story as street level. Then I'm gonna add three more stories. And I'll rename them as, okay, let's start from there, ground floor, actually, I'll copy that, ground floor, okay, street level, ground floor, first floor, and roof. Then I'll change my height in this menu so the street level is at zero yeah the ground floor is at one i don't know what happened first floor and this is at um 420 apply and the roof is at 720. Okay. Right. I'm going to rename my site as Titre Foncier 123456. And then my building as Blender Bim Villa. <clears throat> and now I have these empties that have been created. And I can take my ground floor uh, and move it GZ. Oh, I forgot I constrained them. I need to <laughs> unconstrain these heights. So just Z. GZ. And up. Constrain it again. First floor, I'll unconstrain the Z. Move it to the first floor. Constrain it again. Ground floor demolition, unconstrain, move to that empty, and then up, constrain it. So we're now at the correct levels here. Let's take these three drawings and go to the object information. So in the scene properties, we'll go to object information. And here we'll look for IFC annotation. And we'll just assign IFC class. Sweet. There's another step we could do, which is assigning a status to these drawings. And with, um, so it's the first floor that was selected. The status is demolish. No, ex no new. Ground floor construction, this is new as well. 
and ground floor demolition will be demolish now we'll save our ifc project but before we'll save the blender file so we'll go to file save call it architecture 001 save blender then we'll hit control save and that will prompt us to save the ifc file architecture 001 ifc save ifc now whenever i click control s it will save both my blender and ifc file together Oh, one step I forgot was that we could IFC say project as as a relative path and now we can ship them together.